Pokeheads, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a slab that I recently picked up, as I usually do. And this slab is right before my birthday, so you can say it's my birthday slab. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow. I don't know, I don't know because some of these slabs are all sporadic. This one actually was cut up in mail for the longest time. I didn't think it was going to be delivered. So I was getting worried about it. But I also want to cover a story that is just disgusting, honestly. This world, I feel like this week, this two weeks maybe or so, we have been getting so many news of awful people doing disgusting things to kids, being pedophiles pretty much. So this story is no different. Collecticon, right? I, I make content about Pokemon cards. A lot of people that buy and sell Pokemon cards go to Collecticons. They're all over the country, um, strategically, different states at different times. So you can even go to one of them, all of them at a, <laughs> at a time, right? So anyways, there is a story that I want to present to, present to you guys. This uh, last Collecticon in San Diego, there was a sting operation by law enforcement to catch sex predators. I'm like, first of all, I'm like, what? There are sex predators at Collecticon? Yeah. And if you have kids, you're taking them to Collecticon, be very careful, fam. So I want you guys to uh, be aware of these things and be protected. Apparently, their sting operation arrested 14 people part of sex trafficking and um, one of the victims um, that they were able to rescue, they were able to rescue 10 people. One of them was a minor 16 year old. So to me, this is insane, disgusting. And my faith in humanity is just going down the drain every single day. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Why is all this going on? Especially in a hobby that is meant to be targeted for kids or at least um, some of the, <laughs> some part of the hobby is fans. It is getting insane, ridiculous. I didn't even want to cover this just because it, I don't like thinking about it. And, and at Collecticon really of all places as well, but I want you guys to be aware, to know, to protect yourselves. And now we're going to take a look at this lab. All right, fam. So I have my Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the back. Maybe I haven't talked about this um, recently, but I started with Yu-Gi-Oh and I was actually uh, playing competitively back in the day. And these are some of the cards that were part of my deck, not the Red Eyes, but the Injection Fairy Lily, the Dawn and Mirror Wall. So nostalgic cards that I wanted to put up here. Really what started to get me into uh, in the TCG um, competitive and then I started came back after a long time and then started to collect and when I went to collect I didn't really like the visual aspects or not all of the visual aspects of, of Yu-Gi-Oh cards I like the Pokemon ones better so I decided to um, go for Pokemon cards and now three years later since I came back into the hobby I am sticking or going for a higher end slabs so like I mentioned this is <laughs> Um, it kind of like a birthday gift, if you can call it that way. Usually whenever I want something, I get it. So it's, <laughs> it's hard to get things for me because <laughs> if I want it, I usually go, go for it. And especially with Pokemon cards, higher end Pokemon cards. Fams, take a look at this. This is actually my first lab for, first of all, team up. Magikarp, Whale Alert, very, very cool slab in my opinion. But um, th this is my first lab with bumper guards. So the reason for this, and this is actually a really good idea in my opinion, because I have seen a lot of people drop a slab accidentally and then it uh, breaks here or it starts to crack. And you can get slabs re re-slapped <laughs> uh, but like recased in the slab but it does cost money and obviously time so very cool i'm starting to check if the if some cards some cards are cut because of paranoia that's been going around <laughs> lately and honestly it is so hard to tell if cards are cut or not because this one seems like it would be a it looks like it's a cut card, like right here, right? Um, if you compare it to this one here, 
This one actually doesn't even move around at all. And this one has a lot of of, uh, <laughs> of leeway giveaway. But I bought this from a reputable seller that has feedback. Um, so I am more inclined to believe it. I will be taking a more look closely at this. But yeah, Sun and Moon Altar. And I am trying to get the regular card as well to have both. I'm trying to get multiple copies of the alt arts. And honestly, <laughs> these cards have kind of put a damper on my uh, <laughs> on my birthday celebration money because I've been spending so much. I picked up Ladios Ladios for nineteen hundred. It's a twenty five hundred dollar card. Nineteen hundred with PayPal goods and service. So I had to pick that up. I also picked up another card that was a thousand dollars. So. <laughs> Last week I spent, and this, <laughs> this was like the week, week before, because I was telling you guys, I didn't think it was going to make it. But yeah, I've spent like three to $4,000 in the last uh, week and a half or so. This card is actually give, making me sketched out, so <laughs> I have to look at it more closely in person here. All right, fams, so that's it for this video. Drop a like if you liked the video, subscribe, and join the Discord where I sell and other rep rep reputable sellers sell as well with discounts and feedback, vouchers, all that. All right, fam, so see you guys next time. Later.